NC State did a really good job of defending the three in that first game. Hit only five of 21 in that game, but. NC State is 17 and 13 on the season, nine and 10 in conference play. More sell off the backboard for two for the back. Interesting matchup with uh, DJ Horn on Hinson to start with. Hinson, a difficult shot, and the follow up is a jam. Federico leads the team in field goal percentage, not surprisingly, often yeah. very close to the rim, and 64% from the floor for Federico. Federico from Helsinki, Finland. Horn out of the corner, and that is money. How about 89 made threes on the season for DJ Horn? Shooting 43% from beyond the arc. Federico inside against Burns. He averages just under five points per game. He's got four in the first half. Guarding Burns. Spins around the defender for two. DJ Burns with the move on the inside around the defender. Crafty and like nifty. First time he went over the 20 point plateau this entire season, although he has scored in double figures 22 times. Back and in and scoring. It's the senior Hinson. But on the other end of the court, Blake Hinson, leading scorer for the Panthers. He's got two. But, I, you know, for NC State, I'm sure they'd rather see him posting up than taking threes. Taylor dropped it off to Burns for an easy two. And uh, with Middlebrooks in there, yeah, and Federico can play center field a little bit defensively. He can roam. Leg it. Really has settled into that role, Tom. He's a double-digit scorer, Mike, 12 per game. Middlebrooks, Federico fighting inside, and it's Middlebrooks. Playing game number 127 in the college ranks. He'll fire away. May have been altered and deflected by the defense of Diara. NC State is 5-1 and one against the Panthers inside Peterson of Well, they, they've been great on the road this year. Up top. Yeah, we talked about it. They like to throw lob to the big guys. There's the look. And uh, you let him get to his left hand, and uh, he's trouble. But Breon passes into the game. Number 10 in red and black. This is Burns trying to back his way in on Hinson. Has to kick it out. Pass. Just inside the line. Hits the jumper. They had only attempted three shots, Mike, in his last four games. So that's bonus offense. Low at the other end with the jumper for the Panthers. He's really improved over the course of the year. Burns in traffic. Turns around over the front rim. So Burns is now three of four from the floor and six points. Leading score in our game so far as that was deflected. Leggett trying to work on the baseline. It ended up with Horn. Used to be okay. Tried to drop that one low to Morcel on the cut, and Morcel converts. And that's what they do. Harrington slams on the brakes, little fall away, and a kind roll. Pass. Morcel, perimeter work with the shot clock down to five. Morcel behind the line. Follows the miss, attacks the rim, and scores. Casey Morcel. But Morcel makes it pay off. Struggles continue from beyond the arc for Morcell. Just three of his last 15 attempts. Not at the other end. Diaz Graham. The first three for Pitt in the game. He's made a few this season. 28 on the year. Pitt makes the most per game of any team in the ACC. And Diaz Graham separates ball from Wolfpack player. Floater. NC State is try trying to stop a three-game losing streak. Two and four in their last six games. This is Burns. Hit the cutter. Taylor He's done that a few times tonight, Mike. DJ Burns just threads that pass inside to a cutting. Taylor, we are tied. How about DJ Burns with three assists in the game already? Leggett carving his way to the rim. Very tough jump shot for Carrington. Baseline activity coming out of the corner for three in front of the NC State bench. Panthers have won two in a row. Three of their last four. Twisting shot up and good. And a chance at the three point play. Ishmael Leggett. Watch this. That's against two bigs right there and finishing with an acrobatic shot. 
Shot clock is at 10. Austin baseline move. Ross came over to meet him. Didn't stop Austin. There's the look. It's the, the fake and the uh, the drive has been there for Pitts. And not, not bad defense. A lot of dribbling from Horn. Burns with the shot clock at five. Hits the jumper. Carrington. Free throw line. Into the corner. Leggett ran it down. It hits Taylor. Hinson up top. Federico. He'll lay it in. You know, for Still hanging in there, though. Carrington has an open path. He knows his alleys right to the rim. And Bub has gone for five points so far tonight, including that driving layup. Burns. Without Horn, they're going to have to have other people step up to score. Double team on Burns. Taylor. They run him off the three-point line. He takes it to the rim. Score the basket and the foul. They had to switch and they had to double team on Burns. And uh, this opened things up. Pretty solid defense in the recovery. All kinds of commotion in front of that NC State bench. And now Hinson trying to harvest the jumper and he will. Yeah, he's again with pass on him. But Hinson trying to go over the shoulder to Federico. Ends up with Taylor, let the defender fly off by, and he knocks down the three ball. And maybe that's the way, Mike, that NC State and Kevin Keats get back in this one without one. So the first three of the game for Taylor, who has now made 47 this season. Carrington answers with the three ball at the other end for Pitt. Three points and six boards in his last three games, trying to keep it rolling. Tonight against, against NC State on senior night, it's Hinson for two. Nyquist his way to the bucket. Marcel, explosive drive. Federico recovered defensively up and in for NC State. Notre Dame and Wake. Trying to close out the season and get their 21st win of the year. Carrington, money from three. So Taylor and Burns have nine points, leading scores for the pack tonight. Hinson, way behind the line. Ripping the ropes for the Pitt Panthers. First three of the night. For Henson on four tries, Marcel, the kick and Taylor. Diara over the top. Burns trying to clean it up. Doesn't get the bounce. Out to Taylor. He can't handle it. Federico saves it. He goes in for the jam. The last six shots in a row. Austin with the save. And then he tries to take the rim off the tension. This is the other DJ Burns. Shot clock is at seven. Draws the double. O'Connell. He hits a three right in front of his own bench. Ryan with 31 points. Six of eight from three. And the number one seed in the tournament next week. Who are also expected to join the NCAA tournament field, although they lost today on the road at Wake, which they lost once at home. Taylor on the drive. Saturday night in our nation's capital. O'Connell. From the free throw line. And that has always been a test, too, for somebody who's gotten a double by time. That is some momentum heading to Washington. And you can see the importance of this game. It has been a very tight rotation. Hinson followed his own miss. Only seven guys have played for Pitt so far. Inside of 12 minutes to go now in our second half. Middlebrooks maintains the pivot foot. And calculates the angle. A little bit of focus and purpose here. Shot clock is down to four. And that's some focus. While well, Carrington has bailed him out with some three-point shooting here in the second half. November 6th, Mike. Carlton Carrington, a triple-double. First game of the year against North Carolina a &D. And it's Hinson. Taylor. Pass. Three. Pass connects. And an immediate timeout by Kevin Keats. They went last year, Mark. They had not been since 2016. Henson behind the last line of defense for the Wolfpack. 27 times this season, double digits for Henson. He now has 19 of 7 of 13 shooting. Middlebrooks. Diaz Grant poked it away momentarily. 
Middlebrooks recovers and scores. CW Courtside Saturday, Tom Lormy, Mike Jaminski, and our outstanding production crew. We thank everyone at Raycom Sports and at CW Sports and Carrington inside the line for two. Nowhere to go. Got it back from Diara. Wide open three. Makes no mistake. Did not return to the game and not available for the second half. Lower extremity injury. Well, and Taylor has stepped up. And he's the only well, he's the only packing double figures with 14 points. And looks like 16 points. Won the ACC Women's Championship in 20, 21, and 22. And they're back in the title game against Notre Dame, which won it four years in a row when they entered the conference. Back to the action here at Peterson Event Center. Carrington needs a little safety valve here and finds Hinson. Defender fell down. That's enough time for Hinson to hit that jumper. Trying to ease that one up on the rim with the left hand. Changing in midair, mind you. Three. Drano. Taylor. Mike. Now falling in love with that three and to try to attack the rim. Carrington is three of eight on threes and it's Taylor. Three ball and timeout. Five of its last seven shot attempts. Just, I mean, incredible resilience by this team. Low around Federico. Low to the rim. Rolls off. Federico follow. Carrington trying to use his speed. Diara recovers defensively. Austin. Kick. Carrington. Boys on that possession, the shot clock. You talk about when a guy goes out. Now here's that last play where the last pit possession, Carrington has been huge from behind the line. Over three minutes without a field goal for NC State. Morcell trying to end that drought, can't do it. Ball ends up with Taylor. He hits a three as he hits the deck. to Carrington in stride. Alley oop Diaz Graham rocking the rim for Pitt. Great look ahead. They got her over the front line of the defense and then Carrington making a play. Time is a factor for NC State. Diara rattles home a three. Double by for the Pitt Panthers. First one ever in the ACC for them.